Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Our first hot topic says, Reps seek six-year tenure for president rotation among zones. Now, 35 members of the House of Representatives, led by Representative Ikenga Ugochinyere, PDP Imo, have proposed a bill to amend the Constitution to ensure the rotation of executive powers among Nigeria's six geopolitical zones. The lawmakers aim to provide equal representation and reduce agitation for state creation by recognizing the six geopolitical zones in the Constitution. The bill seeks to establish a single tenure of six years for the president and governors to reduce government spending and increase efficiency. The bill proposes creating two vice president offices, one from the northern and one from the southern part of Nigeria. The first vice president would be a succession vice president, and the second vice president would handle the economy and serve as a minister. The bill advocates for the financial autonomy and accountability of local government councils by establishing an independent consolidated local government council account with stringent penalties for misuse of funds. The bill seeks to amend the Electoral Act to ensure that all federal and state elections are held on the same day. The bill also includes provisions to conclude all elections and election-related litigation within six months before the swearing-in of the elected officials. The lawmakers emphasize their commitment to building a united, stable and prosperous Nigeria. Single tenure of six years. Rotation of power between North and South and among the geopolitical zones and the senatorial zones for the governorship. And also single tenure for the presidency and single tenure for the governorship six years. Removing the billions we spend in re-election and the uncertainty it brings to our electoral process plus the corruption it also brings. And also we are seeking for all elections to be conducted in one day, reducing the cost of conducting election getting more citizens involved on election day and reducing to the barest minimum the possibility of rigging because you will have those interested in the presidency, in the governorship, in the state assembly, in the national assembly, in the local government, all turning up to vote for their different candidates. Each of the polling units will be populated and that can help to provide a lot of defense. All right, so joining us to have a conversation about this is Ambrose Igbokwe, is a political analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. The name is Igbokwe. Igbokwe, I beg your pardon. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining us this morning. So we're looking at um, a six-year tenure for the president and the governors. It's going to be a single um, six-year tenure, but um, it's going to be rotated among the six geopolitical zones. What do you think about this bill? There's a lot um, having to conduct elections in one day, um, making sure that all litigation are done within six months, which are maybe good um, you know, good things to be able to enact. But what do you think about the bill, especially the six-year single-term tenure? Uh, I think it's uh, a good proposition, uh, if you may ask me, uh, because um, we, what we tried to do in the presidential system was to copy the American presidential system, mm -hmm. uh, which we started in 1979. Uh, we recall that... Um, a, our own uh, presidential sy system was not what we started with in uh, during our independence in 1960. We had a parliamentary system, yeah. and the parliamentary system was more economic uh, for us because the ministers are the lawmakers. So we don't have a uh, upper chamber or uh, bicameral uh, legislature. You didn't have uh, uh, ministers on their own separate. Uh, so we saved a lot of money. So we just had the parliament and the judiciary. And that helped a lot. And for many countries uh, that are practicing that, you could see that it is uh, very good for them. Until we launched in 1979, from there we're having all these uh, uh, big issues. So I think it is okay to have uh, uh, the presidential system rejected so that it can serve our purpose. We will, recall, we, will, we will also remember that even the first experiment of presidential system between 1979 and 1983, we could see all sorts. By the time we were just entering 1981, 82, electionary has started again. And, uh, you know, it led to the coup of 1983, 31st December, just uh, two months after swearing in. 
Uh, so you could find out that even when we came back in 1999, which we have practiced for a quarter of a century now, we found out that the uh, system has been, uh, you know, plagued by, uh, you know, inconsistencies. Because when the governor enters or a political office uh, holder or the president enters, only the first two years I spent in governance, you know, the first year you're trying to get used to it, appoint your ministers, do one or two things, and uh, one year is gone. And then you try to settle that for governance implementation of the budget for the first time, uh, because the budget you inherited when you're entering, when you're being sworn in, it's not your own budget. So you have an idea of what you want to do. You just allow that to run off, or you do a supplementary, and then prepare for your own budget. So what do you find out that they, they have just one year to run their body, like now, 2024. By 2025, they are starting politics again, seriously, for, for the next tenure. So we lost valuable time in governance. And the time the person knows out of the eight years, basically just maybe four and a half or five, four and a half years is what is actually used for governance. The rest are used for politics. So if we, this is not the first time that the idea of a CCS single term came. Uh, I think uh, the lawmakers are going to rehashing yeah. earlier proposals yeah. that have been even at the Constitutional Conference too, or 2014. That suggestion uh, was made. Uh, so uh, it is time to see how we can implement six years in good time. I think we save us a lot of uh, troubles. Yeah. Um, well, some people are, are just afraid that uh, even with the six years tenor, single tenor, it won't have an impact because uh, the attitude will not change. It will, be this, it will be the same thing. They're just giving you six years to be able to pilfer our common economy or our common wealth. So I don't know how you see that. Even though, on the one hand, it might be saving us some money uh, from the electioneering and all that, but it's almost the same thing as you know, going eight years, a single person going eight well, years and doing whatever he wants to do. No, I, I don't think so. Uh, because um, you know, as I have earlier uh, explained, the eight years we actually have now is not eight years uh, of governance. We have always half of it, you know, run for politics. So the person is not even concentrating. But when you make a six year single tenor, the person will be looking for legacies. The person will be looking for a name. The person will look, know that he has no other opportunity than the one he has. So rather than trying to uh, make sure that he comes back for second time, because every politician wants to come back for second time, if there's a second time, it's not that concentrating on that. The person will be concentrating on trying to etch his or her name in the annals of history. And then, you know, there will be less pressure on him to, uh, for succession. Because the biggest, uh, 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 you know, this thing is to uh, try to succeed yourself. And that is the biggest pressure. Some will just say, just like, just like some governors uh, in, in their states who just say, okay, the party brings. Some governors are not very, very uh, peculiar about those who succeed them. They just want the party to be there. Some wants to make sure that God, but even after the eight years. So we found out that, well, But when you make it a six-year single term, <coughs> you will notice that, you know, there will be more time for, you know, for, for governance. Let me give you some example. Um, a lot of the uh, institutes, for example, professional institutes, you will notice that they don't do, uh, they don't do second term. For example, when you talk of the uh, Nigeria Bar Association, when you talk of uh, Institute of Chartered Mediators, when you talk of, for example, ICANN, when you talk about these uh, professional bodies, you notice that it's a single tenor. And I think that should be what is happening in uh, even in the universities, uh, public universities. You find out that it's a single tenor of five years for most of the uh, public universities, especially the federal universities. You do your five years, you go. There are lots of human resources that can carry on. So it, it's not as if you are not there, the work will, will, will carry on. When you do that, you will find out that states will be able to develop economic plans. You will see that states will be able to develop blueprints, for example, that will last for like 20 years. So you do your part, you leave, another person comes to his part or her part and leave. And in that way, we will be able to, you know, have some uh, plans not hinged on politics. Hmm. So, I mean, you've said that they only have about four and a half years in the whole of eight years because obviously they need to um, get the second tenure in because that's what they're looking at. But do you think it's supposed to take that long for us to see progress? 
in the sense that if someone gets into office today maybe the first six months should be having to gather their team around should it take another um, two years to do that and then two years the last two years before we are seeing any progress should it take that long for us to see any dividends of governance here instead of the um, six-year tenure that is being proposed shouldn't we be looking at how to go in there head on do the work you're supposed to do if you get a second term that's fine if you don't that's okay another person comes and continue what you've started shouldn't we be looking at that in nigeria no, we, we can't be looking at that because there's a difference between uh, pragmatism and idealism. Mm. Ideally, what we said is okay. I mean, that's what should be uh, when we have um, a state that we, we is focused on delivery. But we don't. We, don't. we are still a developing nation, and uh, we are not that politically sophisticated uh, from what you are saying. We are not. So we are still operating from a cross uh, level in terms of politi political sophistication. So we are not there yet. So we have to live with the reality of our existence and try to, from the premise of that reality, try to aim for something better. Uh, uh, in Nigeria, political officers, especially elected ones, do not just go in and uh, want to uh, improve the welfare of the people. The first thing is they're trying to pay the back those who contributed uh, to their political uh, success. So they'll try to do consultations, uh, trying to reach out, trying to select from the gamuts of uh, uh, people who becomes minister and who becomes this, who becomes... First, first of all, for example, the National Assembly or Houses of Assembly, you want to rethink of who will become even the speaker and, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, people who become of principal officers with the... So how long speaker. is that supposed to take? Two years? Well, it, it, for the for the House of Assembly, for the national for the legislature, it's faster for them because they cannot move ahead without sele uh, electing those leaders. So it is pretty fast there. They, basically, all that weeks uh, days of presumption they get that done. But uh, the executive, the man has already won the election or the woman. So what he's looking for is okay, uh, doing some consultation, trying to know who is becoming minister. Right? It's not supposed to be because. Uh, it's not supposed to be that long, but because of uh, the kind of people we, uh, we are, it takes a lot of time. We have seen governors who became uh, elected, in fact, in this last year, we saw somebody who, during the first week of his swearing in, appointed his commissioners. Yeah. Uh, so it is, it is feasible, it is possible, but because you have some time from when you win the election to the time of your inauguration. All your consultations ought to be done gone. within that period, mm -hmm. and you're supposed to just hit the ground running. But the, what we have seen in the last 25 years suggest that uh, perhaps those who are elected don't have the capability to do that immediately. So uh, what is the uh, way forward is not to dwell on idealism, but to see how we can use our present reality to better uh, our political system. And that is what we are, uh, that is what is being uh, suggested here. So that when you go in, you know you don't have time for second term. You know that you keep the ground running. So rather than even that six year term, I think it's too much. I think that should mm -hmm. be like maybe we are looking at five years max, or we return the four year uh, tenure, which is just a single term of four years, and then you go. Another person uh, takes over, and this will help us to have what you call maybe you start to ensure political ideology for political parties, so that they can have a system, they can have a, a you know a manifesto instead of a manifesto for one person, they could have a manifesto for 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 the next uh, uh, ten years or the next twenty years. So that uh, that has economic, that has their plan, their blueprint. So that when you come, they know that everybody knows four years, and then you can key into it. And then the citizens can know that oh, this political party, this is the idealism. This is what they will do if we elect everybody in the political system. So that is it. Uh, I, I think it's okay, uh, and I think that uh, we should look at that critically and try to see how we can, uh, you know, rejig our political system. It's very, very important because this eight-year um, second tenure is not really helping us. The most, much of the time is spent in politics rather than in governance. But what do you think about this, uh, the rotation clause in yeah. that bill? Because they are advocating that it goes round maybe the geopolitical zones. What do you think about it? Nigeria is a very uh, unique country. And um, our, political, our political system has not really, really grown since 1960. But this is very unfortunate. Uh, what we are always having is that uh, our citizens see themselves first 
from their ethnic lens, from their ethnic perspective, from their ethnic conundrum. And that's where we see ourselves first. So the Yoruba man is first a Yoruba man, before he's a Nigerian, the same with Kanori, Fulani, Aousa, Igbo, Bibio, Ijo. We first see ourselves as natives of those places first, uh, before we consider ourselves Nigeria. I remember the famous um, uh, 1948 quote credited to one of the famous politicians in that era who said that Nigeria is a mere geographical expression. And that has not changed almost uh, 80 years later. So uh, that is how we see the country. Therefore, but, uh, even the organization of the to so many states is uh, in, you know, in a bid to have a, a, a political identity and uh, you know, uh, see how you know, people can you know, uh, change and become uh, their ethnic image. But what we have now is that we have a system where everybody wants to be you know, recognized politically. And that is what the problem is. And that is why there are still uh, state agitations. There are still people want to create more states. People want, we are still debating about creating more states where we want to have a more viable. As, but when you say now every uh, geopolitical zone has become a, you know, a region of its own and can now even have its own parliament, can have its own uh, you know, representative, and, and uh, you know, these things. You know, and that is, uh, you know, where we should be by now. All right, so let's look at um, some of the things that the bill proposes. The bill pro proposes creating two vice president offices, one from the northern and one from the southern parts of Nigeria. So that's if, um, when we're talking about geopolitical zones, so wherever the president is. Um, the first vice president will be a succession vice president, and the second vice president will handle the economy and serve as a minister. So what do you think about this? Is this going to help us when it comes to governance, having two vice presidents um, at a time? Uh, I don't support that. Um, we should look at other ways of uh, saying, well, that we don't, do we really need a vice president? Because most of the time, the vice president is about uh, if anything happens to the president. So the vice president most of the time is about uh, uh, we are talking about, uh, you know, if anything happens to the president. The vice president most of the time is like a spare tire, you know, in uh, our politics. So I don't know if uh, basically that's what we need. But um, we could look. Uh, our vice presidents are even more, uh, you know, useful than just being a, a vice president. Mm. And we are talking about cutting down the cost of governance. I don't think we should... be making it better in any way. So I think that um, we should concentrate on having that regional government and see how maybe each region will have a vice president and uh, something like that position. We can create something that suggests that each region each. is ruled by not, maybe not a premier, not a governor, but a vice president. In that way, you can have vice presidents, vice presidents in each region. And in each election cycle, which since it's rotational, it cannot be you know, contested just like when you say you do your uh, your primaries. So if it is a term of uh, one region, the region cannot do its own mechanism to the uh, presidential candidates, which other regions will now support. So uh, I don't support having two vice presidents. I just uh, think that it is enough to have the president, and then if there is anything that happens. The vice president from that area can now, you know. So, are you saying that president. we should have about? Are you saying we should have about um, six. five or six, six vice presidents to the president, or maybe five if the president is from one region? So, all other regions, all other um, geopolitical zones, must have a vice president to represent them. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes, what I'm saying is that you have a president at the center. Yes. Then each of the six, each of the regions have vice president each. So we have six vice presidents. That's wow. what I'm suggesting. Different well, from governors is, is, is of those that, regions. Yes, is that different from the governors? And isn't that a lot? Because if we're saying we want to cut the cost of governance, that's even more. No, in this aspect, I, I, for me, I don't think we should still have states. If we are going to do oh. we become regional. I, in this in this uh, situation I'm creating, there shouldn't be states. There should just be the regions. Oh, so, so we don't we have, have six, six governors six, anymore. 
Yes, that should be it. If we are going to create that system, uh, but if we say our state governors and we are going to create region and we are going to, we are still in the same mess and there's nothing changed there. Because mm -hmm. governors from that region, bet me, will be jostling to be uh, the, the president if it's their rotation, is their turn. Mm -hmm. And that again will mess up things. Mm, that's serious. That's serious mm -hmm. because now, um, obviously, the 36 state governors are off. Um, so it's more like a premiere for each geopolitical zone. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, I'm just wondering, how do we even do that? Do we have to now amend the constitution? And is this something that people would actually want in Nigeria? Because that's definitely moving from the presidential system of government that we currently um, practice in Nigeria right now. I have a problem with my uh, uh, a Zoom right now. Mm. Yeah, well, go ahead. Well, See if we can hear your, your audio. Hello, sir. Okay, I think we lost Ambrose there, but I mean, it's quite interesting. He didn't die, though. The, oh, yeah, we <laughs> lost his connection. <laughs> we lost his connection. But it's quite interesting with the things he has said, um, some things that we can actually enact. But I don't know if people would definitely wonder because it changes the entire thing that we know. But change can be good. Yeah. And if we're saying we want something better, then we should be able to look at, at that. My problem is we are still at that point where we think about ethnicity, we think mm -hmm. about the things that are so uh, inconsequential, uh, if I may, mm -hmm. and then when it, it becomes regional, mm -hmm. if you go to maybe south-south, it do is different from Delta. Mm -hmm. Delta is different How from Uruba. Everybody will be thinking about my person. Yeah. My and person. even in Delta, there's Urubo, Isheki, and yeah. Urubo. So there's Urubo, Ishekiri, Ijo, Iso. Yeah. There's a, there's so everybody will be thinking about their yeah. nations. And I don't know if if that orientation that we have now that it has to be my ethnic uh, group mm -hmm. that will do the X Y Z mm -hmm. is still there. We are still going to find problems. And, and, and you know what they say? It doesn't even matter the system of government that we practice. It's the people that are exactly. leaders so even with the presidential system of government i'm sure we can still make it work because when he was saying it will take you a number of years for you to um gather yourself together i'm like are we allowing people to be lackadaisical because if you are being put there to do a job go there and do your job why are you taking so long i mean jack on day was there for one yeah, time and it is, i don't know any other lagos governor that has been has outmatched him Effective, so yes. what but it was just there for one tenor Impactful. so if you if you are a person committed to your duty and you want to make things work you, you can will. actually make it work you in two years will. you so definitely will you can make it work so all right um we'll go on a short break and when we return we'll be looking at our next hot topic please stay with us